Yeah, well, we're part of the uh, South Ribble uh, Sporting Memories Queen, um, uh, where there's about 50 or 60 members that we have there who meet regularly to talk about our experiences in sport. You know, it's a great unifying sort of thing. I mean, there's many people who really can't remember a number of things, but they can remember with, with enjoyment. Um, they, they, their experience in sport, I mean, and that we really appreciate um, coming here today, being organised to uh, Sports Reach. Uh, um, I'm, we've just had a, had a fabulous, a fabulous day. Need long. Yeah. No. I play football, cricket, table tennis over the years, and all that. Did stop playing. He told us about seventy. Yeah. And I can recommend it to anybody who's going into sport to just carry on doing it and uh, keep yourself fit. But you've still got some great memories. You were sharing them there in the press box of you know, football in many ways from a different age, you know, playing with the, the big heavy footballs and the boots and, yeah. you know. Yeah. I was kicked all over the place by Stanley Moses. And... <laughs> Very thrilling. <laughs> <laughs> and it ended, up with, and ended up with a pool with him. Sitting up there, still taller than me when I was standing up. <laughs> and he said to me, You're not going to hit me, are you? <laughs> you're still taller than me then. That was, but that's a laughing memory of the sport. Yeah. And that's the way it is. And if you play sports and you go in the forces, you recommend you play the army and navy. I was the Air Force. It's a really, you know, a thrill to sort of when you come out and you see. You see the grass and you look around, I mean, it really does bring back, you know, many, many uh, memories. Some of them good, some of them not, <laughs> not, not so good. <laughs> and it was interesting uh, just to talk to uh, to Barry Horn there, and he, he remember that goal that he scored against Wimbledon. But this trip, I mean, I think we've been sort of uh, overwhelmed with the, with the hospitality and, and being able to see behind the scenes uh, and to share stories of our memories. And I think that that's the important yeah. thing about the Sporting Memories um, project. I um, mean, because up in South River, where, we, where we, we've got, but it is, a, it is across the world. I mean, and we have, we, uh, we have a sort of uh, a ritual there that when anybody comes in, they, they're given a ball and they're asked to get, re, relay their first sporting memory. and. When you think, I mean, sometimes you see, you see people, particularly older people, and you think, uh, you know, they've, they've been old, old all their lives. But when you listen to some of the stories and the experiences and the emotion and the joy and the sadness and all that yeah. that comes that comes with sport, um, it is it, just a, you know a, a fantastic uh, thing that's being that's that that's that, that's being done and. Uh, with, with sports reach and when you've got clubs like like Everton and others who are you know hosting uh, visits like this, it's it's just fantastic. So it's been it's been a super day, hasn't it, Norman? Yeah. Yeah. I put a smile on people's faces. You know, Norman there uh, reliving all the old memories. Smile on his face. Uh, it's what it's all about. You know, just seeing Norman there walk into the changing room. Uh, see the shade, so see the smile on his face, and then all of a sudden he starts to begin to tell his stories about when he played, or what the ball was like, how different it was then, what the pitches were like, how the football boots were. You know, it, you could spend forever listening to all his memories, and, and for me, yeah, uh, walking back into this changing room sparks loads and loads of memories, uh, good and bad. <laughs> yeah, so. I think that that's what it's all about. The walking into this dressing room to, to put your Everton shirt on with, with Jeffers on the back. Uh, and, you know, I was a young lad who sat on the terraces, dreamt one day of playing for this club and I to fill them, them mail, then Reims. You know, they're just, they're just one of the memories. And then obviously you line up in the tunnel and Zed Cars comes on and then you're out onto the pitch, yeah. Sparked loads of, loads of lovely memories that I had from playing here you because know, this is the way I was brought up, you know, family wise, but also family wise, Everton, and I mean, Everton as my family, you know. When I was a player, 
got involved in a lot of this stuff in, uh, in the community. Uh, and then when I came back as a coach, you know, this club has always, always prided itself on the work we do in the community, how they help people. And so when, when people ring you, you know, previous friends or people from the club and say, could you come and do this? Could you come and do that? It's it's the norm. It's what I was brought up on. So if I can come and, and play a small part and put a smile on people's faces like Norman or, you know, he can put a smile on my face because some of the stuff he tells me I don't know. And it's it's just it, it, it's, it's sort of brilliant to be a part of it. But as I say, it's something that Everton, I was brought up on Everton. And, you know, we, we were doing that when I was 16. 17, we were always out in the community, we were always doing bits and it. it will be a sad day when this place is no longer our ground, but it's something we have to do, isn't it? You know, to move with the times, you have to you have to become bigger, you have to become better, but it's certainly for me, all, all my memories are, are of good as well.